gentlemen very nice Thank you. ladies and gentlemen again I'm Jack Van Breen from Guitar Showcase and this is definitely making music uh, I know a lot of you people have seen me play electric guitar I've been known as an electric guitar player for the last 30 years or so but acoustic music is where I started uh, Peter Paul and Mary that kind of stuff my parents took me to see Harry Belafonte when I was like six <laughs> yes you know, so I, I have a very strong acoustic background. Yorma Kalkin and I stole a lot of his riffs that I could figure out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so having Blah Blah Woof Woof here is a great pleasure for me. Uh, we have Rolf, Chuck, Jay, and Steve, Steve, Steve missing who's today. missing today, who's actually been a good friend of mine for a long time as well. Yeah. Uh, but Blah Blah Woof Woof, there's got to be a story. Uncle Jay? Well, <laughs> multiple stories. Go ahead, Jay. Uh, do you want the truth or you want the lie? Uh, whatever makes good TV. It really doesn't matter to me. I, I, 
That could be the Republican. Yeah, yeah, actually, Rolf and I were sitting around his studio one day, and uh, the uh, phrase came up. It was something that uh, Jimi Hendrix used to say and mumble behind his breath. And I said, that's it. That's the name of the co-op, the band. And everybody thought it was absolutely crazy. And it stuck. And it works. Yeah. Somebody described it as like the West Coast version of yada, yada, yada. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes it too much sense to me, uh, I'm afraid. Be, don't touch that, Jake, because okay. if we could get a shot of the guitar neck here. Uh, this is a rather interesting arrangement you've got on your fretboard. Uh, our viewers are familiar with the capo, which I use a lot of times. I was explaining about I'd spent three hours to figure out how to play uh, James Taylor's Whenever I see her smiley face, it has these beautiful modulations. And I saw him on TV, and he takes his capo and just moves it up the neck. You know, and he's just playing the same open chords. But you've got two. I've got two, yeah. I uh, cheat. Um, I used to like to play in open tunings, but it was very problematic for me when I played live. So in about 1992, I discovered the uh, cut capo or the partial capo, depending on who you talk to. And, uh, it just has a hole cut out for the... Uh, the E string and the B string and the uh, E string that are high remain open, and you can do all kinds of strange and bizarre things. That's very cool. I know that Kaiser now has several variants of those. Yeah, and uh, Shub makes some too. Yeah, and we carry up all those fine products at Guitar Showcase. Excellent. Minor we'll little plug, slid it right in there. <laughs> but it's it's really interesting. It gives a great tonality. I, 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 I love open tunings. I carry four guitars. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of strings. <laughs> that's right. Well, you have to change them often. And it's yeah, and my wife won't do that anymore. And one of the advantages of having the cut capo, of course, is that you can just put it anywhere in the neck, and then all of a sudden you have to relearn the guitar, so it's all your theory kind of goes out the window, and so you go back to playing by ear, which is kind of how all of us started in the first place. And it's yeah. a cheap way to get new songwriting exactly. ideas, because you get a very strange voice and <laughs> sound, and you don't know what you're going to make out of it, and so you make it work. Yes, which is true, because a lot of people you talk to, they're all about the technique. Well, this is an inverted minor diminished ninth, and I'm going, yeah, but it sounds like doo-doo. See, I couldn't say that without stuttering, so that's why I use a partial capo. Yes, it's kind of like a part, never mind. We're at an age where partials mean other things. Than that. exactly. That's right. Okay. I think mine are still in. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, um, I'd love to hear another song, and then we have some other stuff to talk about, but it, sure. it just it sounds so beautiful. Please entertain us again. Cool. Okay. Well, we're going to go to the bottom here. Uh, you know, from, the, from the sublime to the ridiculous. Rolf and I played this at the Tucson Folk Festival at the thing called the Ballad Tree, you know, where everybody sits around and shares their songs, and it was beautiful. And we were noticing that uh, everybody had larks and willows and things in their songs, and, uh, and then um, we played this song, and they all got up and left. And the best part of it is it was really hot, and we went over to the bar and got a beer. The bar was open. Exactly yes. right. Timing is everything. Exactly. Yeah. Are you ready? You went away a month ago You never said goodbye Now here you are, you're all dressed up You got a twinkle in your eye But there's something different about you Something I just can't play well, it seems kind of strange, but there's some kind of change, and it's plain as a nose on your. That's it, you've had a nose job. Nose job. You got a brand new nose, brand new clothes, a whole new style and grace. Nose job. Nose job. Just the style of nose to fit your jet set life. Got them shoes by Gucci, the bag Cardan, nose by Mac the knife. But your eyes look too close together, your chin goes on for days. Well, I'll 
always said that you had a big mouth But it used to be hidden in the shade Talking about your nose job Nose job You got a brand new nose, brand new clothes A whole new style and grace Nose job Very nice, very nice. Well, one of my favorites of yours. Oh, well, and I remember it fondly from a, the birthday party at last year. Oh, you yeah, You did yeah. that. Sure. Where 35,000 other guitar players. There was a lot of cosmetic <laughs> surgery there that day, too. Right? <laughs> well, there's, some of us could use some, yeah. Okay, to, and one of the reasons that we wanted to have you on now is because you guys are one of the first acts in the Vasona concert series, and we have Miss Bev from True Wind Music to tell us about that. Right, the Vasona Vibrations Concert Series is a weekly concert series that happens every Saturday during June and July at Vasona Lake County Park in Los Gatos. And it's a free concert series. It, um, it's open to the public 5 to 7 p.m. by the boat dock. You can grab a blanket, a um, lawn chair, pack a picnic dinner, head out to the park and enjoy some fantastic acoustic music all throughout the summer. Um, there's a hot dog vendor there that sells hot dogs, and um, it's, a, it's just a great time. And, and we really are, all the acoustic musicians, musicians of uh, the South Bay are really um, appreciative. <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> appreciative of, uh, of the Sona Lake Park for sponsoring this concert series. And, um, and the people get to hear great music, and um, it's, it's a, a great time. venue. You it know, is. and that time of day, you get this nice breeze that comes up the valley, mm -hmm. so it's not so hot anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have to give plugs to friends. Uh, Atkinson and Kinchlow have played there before. Right. Avalanche Choir, Dale and Marilyn, right. my mentors. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's always good things. And the other thing that you were telling me about at lunch is with the, I mean, right now everybody knows there's an economic issue happening in the country. It's no surprise. And there's a lot of people that we think about November, December, with the food bank, and everybody does food drives in November and December. Those people are hungry today. And I was reading an article in the paper, there are even more of them than before. So your second harvest is gonna have? Right, there'll be barrels at the park all throughout the concert series collecting, um, collecting food, and there'll be information of where you can make monetary donations for the um, Share Your Lunch program, which is Second Harvest Food Bank's program that runs throughout the summer, because during the school year, um, a lot of children depend on subsidized school lunches for nutrition and in the summer of course they're not in school and so um, it's up to us to, uh, to help make that happen. So there'll be barrels um, to donate food and more information about the Share Your Lunch program. Yeah, this is a great cause. Uh, Guitar Showcase has been a big supporter of Second Harvest. We have our string clinics every month or so. You bring a couple of cans of food for the f food bank and we'll put fresh strings on your guitar Six strings only. Uh, <laughs> 12 strings is four cans. If you've got a locking tuner, you need to grow up. I mean, um, anyway, because uh, it's important year round, especially in these troubled times, um, it, it's important. So I think this is a great combination. You get to help the community. You get to hear great music like Blah Blah Woof Woof and other great acts. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of exciting stuff. Yeah. So every Saturday, 5 to 7, June and July, uh, bring a blanket or a lawn chair. Um, bring your dear do food to donate. You can even bring a bottle of wine with you out to the park and enjoy that. That's um, true. Um, in the concert area. And it's uh, near the boat dock area at Vasona Lake County Park um, on Blossom Hill Road in Los Gatos. And there's on the screen was the, uh, the website for right. more details, all the acts that are going to be playing. And you've got to be aware of the musicians that are trying to get the wine away from you as you carry it in. <laughs> Let's see, maybe I can talk somebody into letting me play as an opening slot next year. Uh, and speaking of playing, how about more music? Because sure. this is what making music is all about. What have you got for us? This is a song I wrote for a, a club owner that I work with a lot up in Calistoga. Oh, we can't have those kind of language. Well, <laughs> Calistoga or club owner. <laughs> 
Well, the last time I uh, played there, the IRS came in and emptied his till. So oh, it was, interesting. A, it was a rough night there at this particular place. But uh, he had this 1971 or 70 Chevy Chevelle that was supposed to be a very valuable song, uh, a car. And um, he managed to keep that through all of his problems with the, the IRS. Transferring title just ahead of them? It's, it's usually an app, but, but I'll... Do, 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 are we, we doing part? Of I got a word from yeah. left field here that uh, it's almost always <laughs> a heat, dude. Every time we play. Okay. Oh, oh, you you know what? You you are right. No, never mind. It's that double capo thing. It's that often the bass player high. gets to speak as oh, one. Say. It's one. like math. Take one. You know? Take one. Exactly right. It's new math. <laughs> it's new math. You move a decimal point a couple of places. Pretty soon you've got the national deficit. Yeah. Key of two. <laughs> so anyhow, it's it's for. Uh, it's a song about a guy that didn't grow up, not that musicians should oh, dwell on that. I know that band. Oh, sorry. Wait, I was in that band. What was Never that, Charles? Mind. What was the mom say to the little, the little boy came and said to the mom, Mommy, when I grow up, I want to be a guitar player. And the answer was from the mom? You can't do both. You got to choose. <laughs> okay. Jam on Lincoln Street. Everybody's out in the summer heat. The Pearl Bank flex. All the street lights. It's the way it ought to be on a Friday night. There's one space open because they held his spot. Waiting on the legend of the parking lot. He's not a kid now at 45. Can't tell by the car he drives. He seems too old for that old Chevelle. The wife wants it gone. He'll never sell. He'll pop the hood and show you what he's got. He's a legend in the parking lot. No, he never gave up on those fast cars. He still lays rubber on the boulevard. Seen his picture in the magazine. Car and driver and street machines. And the kids all know him. They call him Pops. He's a legend in the parking lot. His first wife left him 20 years ago. She was a swimsuit model at the auto show, but he never grew up. She got fat. He never told her he loved her like that. But in the summer when the nights get hot, he's still he's a legend, legend in the parking lot. No, he never gave up on those fast cars. Still days rubber on the boulevard. Seen his picture in the magazines. Car and driver and street machines. And the kids all know him to call him pops. He's a legend in the parking lot. He spends all this free time with his cars alone. Got scars on his knuckles that reach the bone. He smells like a Shines like chrome. And he never gave up on those fast cars. He still lays rubber on the boulevard. Seen his picture in the magazines. Car and driver and street machines. And the kids all know him. They call him Pops. He's a legend in the parking lot. He's a legend. I can, I can relate to being 45 and driving a car like that, except I never did, because, you know, you can have a car or you can have seven or eight guitars. Exactly. And I'm on 12 now, so I'm never going to have a Chevette. No. But you got lots of guitars. I, I do. He who dies with the most guitars wins. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Uh, you know, it's, it's something I want to collect and leave to the kids, except none of them play. So it's, I'm not sure what's going to happen at that point. It's a good lie to tell the wife, though. 
Yeah, but she knows. Oh. <laughs> no, honey, I've always had that guitar. Really, it's really the same. Really, no, actually, it just looks different in the light. Trust me. Actually, I brought one home, and she walked in the door, and she looked at it, and she said, what's, what's that? And I said, well, this is something that I wanted to talk to you about. And she goes, okay, which one are you going to get rid of? And I said, uh, well, but see, this one doesn't sound like any of the others. And it was a, it's a 6120 Gretsch, nice acoustic guitar, uh, not even plugged in. I said, listen to it. She says, I don't, you know, I can't tell. And I played her a nice E7. And she went, oh, that does sound nice. So we sat on the couch and discussed it a little bit more, and she's looking at it. It's this beautiful light blue burst with gold. And she goes, it is kind of pretty. At which point I said, okay, time to stop talking. She said yes. <laughs> it's, it's great. Oh, I see someone over in the corner. Please, please come join us. Um, uh, Jay, if you could, you could move over because we haven't had a chance to wire up this nice young lady. Um, and Bev has done a good stand-in for you. It, but uh, you are Annika? Yeah, Ranger I'm, Aniko Millen, yes. And, and uh, you, were, can, you, you were spearheading or driving or managing this whole Vasona Vibrations thing? Right, um, County Parks along with, of course, South Bay folks uh, put this together. Actually, this is going to be year six for us. Wow. And uh, five years with the South Bay folks that made it really happen. Ooh, there I am. <laughs> Move a little closer. Okay, thank Step you. up to the microphone. Yeah. And uh, we're yeah. just real excited to uh, start it another year. Excellent. I just wanted to get you on camera because I, I think it's really a great thing. And also, I don't think people really appreciate what the Rangers do, picking up after all the people who forget to move their trash. Yeah, you know, that a lot too. Other yeah. stuff. <laughs> Memorial Day weekend was pretty tough. Yeah, I can bet. <laughs> Actually, I got married in Vasona Park. No kidding. Yes, and one of the Rangers was kind enough to deliver the minister, who went to the wrong end of the park, <laughs> to our, our uh, site, on the back of the garbage truck. It was quite on the romantic. Back of the garbage truck, even. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, th I just wanted to uh, share you with our, our, our viewers. And thank you. Thank, thank you, you for so coming much down. for having us. And, and uh, p our viewers, come support this uh, event. Absolutely. We okay. look forward to seeing everybody of a Sona Vibrations Summer Music Series. All right. Thanks and so much. And speaking of Summer Vibrations, more music. Blah, blah, woof, woof. I used to have a, a mustache, Jack. You remember that? It was kind of a. I could claim to, but then I'd be lying. Well, it was kind of a Pancho Villa after a while. I, I had, it was taking over my face, so I had to had to get rid of it. Uh, my wife had a hand in that too, you know. She, <laughs> say, sell a guitar and I lose that mustache, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sucker was gone. <laughs> well, here we go. This this is for our generation. But I miss the good old days I'm missing pieces of my past The winds of change blew hard and strange And it all went by so fast I miss the girl I should have married And the ones I could not catch And when the cold wind blows around my nose I miss my mustache I miss the last train to Clarksville I miss Crosby, Stills, and Nash With sideburns flying, my friends and I ran down the rosy path I miss the sunshine on my shoulders And my hair down to my And when the Beatles play yesterday I miss my mustache I do not miss the way my kiss made the girls all laugh. But they looked at me like Poncho Villa and some old photograph. So goodbye, old banditos. Better hold on to your masks. When the world gets wise to my disguise, I miss my mustache. Someday I'll miss Miss Manners 
and all her good advice. I misspell Mississippi, but not the same way twice. The day they taught you how to keep a straight face, well, I guess I must have missed that day in class. Cause when people say, oh, you never should have shaved, but I just have to laugh. For all those years, I had those hairs in the middle of my face. I only wish that all I missed was as easily replaced. So goodbye, old soup strainer. Hello, razor rash. Just one slip on a naked lip, and I miss my mustache. Yes, and when the cold wind blows around my nose, I miss my mustache. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I like the little tip to John, and, to John and Paul there at the end there as well. Uh, well, we are just about out of time. I'd like to thank Blah Blah Wolf Wolf for coming out and giving us some great music and uh, helping us promote the Vasona Vibration Series, which is a very worthy cause. Uh, Guitar Showcase is going to see if we can get... That's it. I'll have Gary pay me to go to it. There. Okay, because it ties in with the Second Harvest Food Bank and everything. So I'd like to thank you again and, and impose... We got about a minute and a half. You got about a two minute song we can throw over yeah. the credits. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be uh, most excellent. Hey, and thanks for having us over. We my sure. pleasure. Bring the cans of food to Vasana. Absolutely. It's a worthy cause. Oh, summertime, summertime, why did you? You had to leave. Why did you take the sun? Summertime, summertime, where did you go? Did you hop on a bus down to old Mexico? Well, there's frost on the pumpkin and the days aren't too long. It's getting colder, the wind's blowing strong. Some call it autumn, but I call it fall. It don't seem nothing like summer at all Summertime, summertime, why did you run? If you had to leave, why did you take the sun? Summertime, summertime, where did you go? Did you hop on a bus down to 